Hi all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about sorting technique. The first sorting technique that we are going to discuss here is selection sort. So selection sort is very simple. Uh, we have a list of unsorted elements: uh, 50, 20, 30, 10, and 16. These are the unsorted elements. So what's the meaning of sorting? Sorting uh, is the form of uh, arranging the elements in either ascending or descending order. So that is the meaning of sorting. So we are going to uh, arrange the element in ascending order. So for that we have uh, many sorting techniques. First one is selection sort, then uh, bubble sort, then uh, quick sort, merge sort, a number of sorting techniques we have. So we are going to discuss here is about selection sort. In selection sort, the procedure is to find the minimum element and interchange that minimum element with the first element. So here uh, I am choosing minimum element as uh, 50. So I am storing minimum, uh, I am storing the va value 0, 0 is the index of 50 and uh, play and stored it in a variable named as minimum. So minimum always represents the smallest element. So assume initially I am assuming that 50 is the smallest element and then I am going to cross check with the other elements. Okay, So here we are going to uh, verify with the minimum elements. Okay, So first step is to compare the minimum element with the next element. So 50 less than 50 less than 20. So 50 less than 20 condition false. That means the value, the representation has to be changed because minimum element is now uh, uh, is in the first index. Okay, So now minimum equal to 1. Again I am comparing <coughs> 1 with uh, the second index value. So 20 less than 30. Again uh, no change because 20 less than 30 condition is true so uh, minimum value is same. Okay. Again uh, 20 less than 10. The next element. I am comparing 20 with the next element. So 20 less than 10 condition false. So the minimum element is now 10 and the index value of 10 is 3. So minimum element is minimum uh, uh, minimum variable represents 3. Again now 10 is the minimum element 10 less than 16. So no change because 10 is less than 16. So minimum value is 3 itself. Okay. Now we iterate, uh, one iteration completed. So that means we compared with all elements and we finalize the smallest element among all these things. And next step is to interchange the smallest element with the first element. So what I am going to do is I am going to interchange 50 with the 10. The first element is now 50. I am going to interchange 50 with 10. Okay. Now the first position is sorted. The first element is sorted. Uh, that means the first position is placed with the exact correct sorted element. Okay. Now we are going to start with the second iteration. So first we have to complete this process till the value till the end of the uh, list. That means we are having five elements. So five times we have to do this process to identify the elements. Again. Okay. So next iteration we are going to start here. Okay. Now minimum value because I completed 0. Now I am assuming that minimum is 1. So comparing 20 with 30. 20 less than 30. Condition true. So minimum is same. No change on minimum. And then again comparing 20 less than 50 condition true. So minimum is same. No change on minimum. Minimum represents the same element, same value. Then 20 less than 20 less than 16. Minim no, 20 less than 16 condition false. So minimum is now 4. Okay. We completed the second iteration. So this is the first iteration. So first iteration number one, iteration number 
iteration number one. This is iteration number two. So we completed the second iteration. After that, we are going to interchange the minimum element with the first element. The first element is twenty. So we are going to interchange twenty with sixteen. So sixteen is replaced with twenty. Okay. Again, we are going to start with the third iteration. Okay, iteration number three. That means we completed uh, sorting up to the index value one. Now I am as uh, assigning the minimum value as minimum equal to two. That means thirty. Then comparing. 30 less than what 50 condition true no change on that so minimum is uh, same so minimum equal to 2 again 30 less than 20 condition false that means we have to assign the new minimum the new minimum is what 20 is representing 4 Okay, now the third iteration also completed. We are going to interchange minimum index with the first index. Here, the first value is what? Thirty. So we are going to interchange thirty with twenty. Okay. Twenty. Thirty. Iteration number four. Iteration number four. Here, I am assigning minimum as what? We completed up to the three elements, so all the three elements are sorted. Now we are going to start with minimum as assigning minimum as the three, and comparing fifty less than thirty. Fifty less than thirty condition false. So minimum is assigned as minimum value as four. Now the iteration is completed. Comparing uh, so interchanging uh, minimum value with the first index first <coughs> first value. Index value with the first value. So uh, we are uh, interchanging the value here, thirty and fifty. We completed all the iterations up to four iteration, up to four we completed, and all the elements are sorted. This is a very simple uh, method of uh, sorting. Uh, you can write a program by yourself. It is very simple and. Try to write a program for this, and uh, if you have any doubt, please contact me. Okay, thank you.